Hi and thanks very much for joining me. I'm Dean the Vaping Biker. Today we're going to be looking at an RDA from Advoken. This is the Gorge RDA and it's uh, it's great for a bottom feeder. You can also use it in normal dripping mode as well. It's it's kind of designed for your uh, for your kind of your lung hitter. This isn't a mouth to lung device, and I'll explain why later on in the video. However, this is super cheap, coming in at around about twenty to twenty five dollars um, from the normal kind of gear best, fast tech, heaven's gifts kind of website. Sites. I haven't seen this in the UK yet, uh, but a little bit of Googling, I'm sure, may find it a little bit closer to you. Um, I will also leave the link down below to the Advoken website as well, just in case, I guess, you want to get it in your vape shop. I don't know. Who knows? Um, but uh, all in all, I quite like the stuff that Advoken's come out with for a long time now. Um, more often than not, it kind of, it seems to be a bit of a winner. Way back when I first started my channel, Advoken were one of the first people or first companies that... Uh, sent me a product to review and so there is a little soft spot in my heart for those guys um, and it's great to see that they've, they've they've got some more quality products now obviously they've produced the Mad Hatter before and the Mad Hatter mech and various other bits and bobs there's a whole mess of things that they've done however this Gorge RDA is what we're looking at today so before any further ado let's go for a tour in the up close section shall we come on then all right then ladies and gentlemen so here we are with the gorge rda very exciting boxing going on there just advocate on the side nothing much going on there barcode a little bit of information there just with uh, your uh, sort of social media stuff there you go you can just about see if i hold it to the light light so uh, nothing overly exciting to go on there like i say and there is some gubbins on the back there as well as your scratch and sniff for authenticity now then when we crack this open you will see how, by the way, we do have a stainless steel little sign on the top there. Now then, in here we do get a little card, and the card says says that. Share your favourite picks. That's always super exciting to see that kind of thing. And here we are in the box. We look a little bit dark today, don't we? Let me see if I can brighten that up a little bit. There we go. So uh, that's what's in the box there. So we've got the stainless steel RDA, and we've got an extra PEI drip tip and, oh sorry, top cap rather. We'll look at those in a moment. Just push those to one side. And and we do have the spares bag in here, which is very important. And we will look at this in a moment. Underneath all of that, there is one of these big old funky kind of screwdrivery Allen key jobbies that you can put things on that you can wrap your coils on. You can do all manner of things. You can probably stick that in a chuck of a drill. No idea why you'd want to do it, but it's a doctor coil. So you can doctor coils with it i guess <laughs> anyway here we go this is the rda 24 mil in width uh, a nice short and squat rda if i compare it to what's uh, what's popular at the moment that i've got in front of me what's popular at the moment ah oh, here we go we've got the uh, the goon v 1.5 with a a great bit of hair on it but that uh, that's the sort of size difference between the Goon 1.5 and the uh, and the Gorge and you can see that this is a little bit shorter which is great if you're going for a sort of a, a flavor kind of build going on in that one which is super underneath we do have Gorge and then we have Advocen underneath and uh, that's about it we do have a little Gorge logo on the drip tip um, we're seeing this on a few drip tips at the moment I don't really understand why but it's a thing anyway so that's in there uh, oh just realized hopefully you can't hear the fan that's going on in the background but there we go um anyway so we've got the gorge drip tip which you can take out and that is goon size so if you do want to use it on other rdas and tanks and stuff then you probably can uh but underneath there you do have the uh, the classic o-ring in there holding on the drip tip now then if we take the uh let's take the uh barrel off very snug there we don't have any sort of the concave as such. It's not as smooth as it would be nice to see, but it does kind of concave to a small degree. You know, it doesn't dome as such, but it uh, is a smooth angle going in there, which is quite nice. And in my opinion, can help with flavor. Now then, when we look at the deck itself, uh, pulling that bad boy out there like so, you can see that this is the deck that we've got to choose from. Now then, does this zoom in if I do this? Yes, it does. How exciting cameras technology 
fun times right so here we are with the uh here we are with the deck uh we do have some uh, writing going on here no idea what's going on there um a couple of rather chunky posts and obviously we do have the positive and negative you can tell this one is the positive because that's where the uh insulation is going around and the negative is milled into the deck rather than having the positive as you can see is separated from the deck all the way around so uh, that doesn't touch the the negative portion which is the base now then it does take a one 1.5 mil allen key so if you're uh, if you're like me and you use your extras rather than the ones that they give you uh, 1.5 will work wonders in there and essentially all you're doing is you've got two sizes that go up so undo the top not two sizes two allen screws that uh ink or you loosen that's the word i'm looking for dean they loosen like so your coil goes down in here your airflow is coming through the side there and going through the middle like so so you're aiming for your middle of your coil to be pretty much in the middle of that rod there so you that's where you really want the middle of the coil to be sitting so the air does hit that hopefully um but then underneath that you can see that we do have this little section that's poking up in the middle there now this is for when you're squonking and that's where your e-liquid will come out when you do squonk which is quite nice it's quite a nice little touch uh it means that you can put a fair amount of juice in there because it's a reasonably deep juice well so you can really pack that full of cotton get a huge amount of juice going in there and then before it kind of over squonks before it comes over the top here then uh, it should in theory get sucked down although it's a very close thing this could have gone down maybe a mil but uh, nothing i'm super super bothered about the two o-rings on the side there are more than happy i'm able to get things on and off although the pei cap is certainly very very much tighter than uh, than the stainless steel one um as for the clamp sizes you can see there that you can get some fairly large coils in there so you can put in pretty much whatever you fancy this is designed for single coil um personally i wouldn't be fanning around trying to put two coils in if you wanted the benefits of two coils what i'd do is use a single parallel coil in there instead uh but that's about it uh just to show you what it looks like with the pei top on it like so you can obviously see the o-rings going through the base there and uh, it does remind us a little bit of some of the other uh, rdas that we have seen of late but obviously what you can do is you can pop that cap on there and i've noticed that this does look quite nice on the top of some brass mechs as well with this kind of ultim pei um, top cap which i think can look quite sweet but for today what we're going to do is we are going to use the stainless cap but uh, in the meantime i'm going to bung a quick build in here just so you can see what i do all righty so i've got on top of my uh 5c1 plus tab from coil master thank you very much to those for this bad boy and you can see what i've done is i've already taken out the grub screws just so i can show you how i situate the coil now then if you use a coil um as per normal then what you would think about doing is let me just move that out of the way for a second you would ordinarily pop your coil in um that way so you've got the legs rolling around underneath however if you do that on here then uh, that's not gonna that's not gonna work that's not gonna work at all let's pop it under camera dean let's let's do that it's not going to work at all because this is if you're wrapping with your coils over the top but to make it happen you would have to roll underneath however having said that if you flip your coil over so then the legs are coming out at the top of the coil rather than underneath that then fits in there wonderfully now all I'm going to do then is I'm going to screw my grub screws in there to capture the leads and then I'm going to give it a little bit of a pull, a little bit of a tug, who I misses, just to make sure that it comes off that centre post in the middle that uh, houses where the squonking comes out. Right, let's make that happen. So all I did there was I just popped in the leads, then uh, then tightened everything up as per usual. All I'm going to do now is get my fingers underneath that coil, lift it up a section there as well. This also means that the airflow is more likely to get underneath that coil, which is exactly what we want to happen. And you can see that... Uh, the airflow as it comes in here it's going to be hitting kind of the bottom side maybe i'll try and pull that up just a wee bit more as well but uh, otherwise that's how i'm fitting the coil in just a little bit of movement to make it nice and central and uh, and we're done this by the way is a three and a half mil id uh, dual core 26 gauge with 38 gauge around the outside and then flattened so there we go let's get this a show on the road 
So here's one of the things that I do really like about this RDA because we've called it up, we're all good to go, but what we haven't done is made it squonk friendly because underneath, if you look inside that 510 pin there, inside the hole you can see that there is something else. Very, very similar to the Velocity V2 with this one in as much as you've got a further grub screw to take out of there to make this squonk friendly. Now this has, is great because it means that this 510 um, is whilst it's holding the positive, it, um, you don't have to loosen it. Therefore, once you've coiled up your RDA, you do not have to uh, loosen that 510, loosen your positive post, and then have your coil all go to piss. And that means that if we go into the spares bag that I said I was going to show you earlier on, uh, what you've got is you do actually have a spare one of these. You have a spare couple of grub screws, some O-rings, and a very, very, very tiny little uh, Allen key. Now this is the Allen key that we need to use to be able to get that grub screw out of here. So that goes in there. I think this is the same size as the Velocity V2 also. But uh, if we undo that, you can see that there's a little tiny screw in there just starting to come out. So we pull that out of there like so. You do have to be careful not to lose them, but this is why they're giving you two of them. And now we are squonk friendly. So I'm going to stick this on top of the drone and we're going to get going. See you back up top. Okay, so that was the tour and the up close around the Gorge RDA from Advoken. Now, obviously, I've got this in squat mode on top of the drone, and the reason for that is uh, is fairly simple. Now, then, one of the things I didn't show you is even when you twist the top cap, so it appears that your um, that your airflow is off. So, uh, like so, I've turned that top cap so it looks like it's blanked off there. You may see that there's a little dark shadow around the outside, and that's because it doesn't fully close off your airflow and that means that even with that going on because um, this isn't cut the, the outer barrel the cap isn't touching the insides um, it means that air can get through there so even with that turned off altogether I can still have a very, very restricted lung hit through it. Um, so that to me is a little bit of an odd one, but it is what it is. So what I'm going with is that this is designed not for your mouth lung, and there's something else that will explain that as well in a moment. This is for people who like a little bit of cloudage, who like a little bit of flavor as well, and are in that kind of central point where they're kind of, they're not too flavor, as in mouth to lung, low wattage orientated, and equally they're not too cloudy, not million watts and all that sort of good stuff on the other side. So let's have a little vape. This came through at 0.29 in the end once it's settled down and I've got this at 55, 0.5 watts and uh, let's have a vape. Nice and cloudy, not the biggest clouds in the world, but it's a single coil and I'm more than happy with that. Now, obviously, like I said in the up close, rather than trying to put two coils in, if you want to have that two coil experience, you're going to get the same wick coverage and the same resistance if you put a single parallel coil in there instead. Now, I've used this uh, this Clapton coil in here that I made up that I showed you, and uh, that's why I'm getting a pretty low resistance at that 0.29, and, uh, and I'm pushing that wattage up a little bit to that 55. Now, obviously, you can... You can adjust this to taste you can put it however you like however with this particular airflow because even fully open there is a slight restriction lung hit um it's it's tasty but uh it's it, it's it's it is that middle zone you know it's it's smack bang there in the middle Now, obviously, depending on where your coil is placed will depend on uh, how turbulent your, uh, your, 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 your kind of experience is. However, I feel that this is quite a smooth delivery on the airflow, which I do quite like. Now, clearly, that kind of delivery does give us a little bit of a sort of a look back and a nod to the Hadley, um, but it is substantially different not to be a Hadley, in my opinion. Um, now then... Um, I like the performance. I like the performance. What I don't like is the fact that it's a really, really tiny 510. Now, this is an 810 510, so you can put any of your goon style or goon size uh, drip tips in here, which is good. Um, however, this doesn't come with an adapter. And that's another reason why I don't think this is, is meant for people that don't want to have big gobfuls of air. And that's because um, you, you get sort of big wide board drip tips or fuck all. That's that's it. That's your choice. Um, unless you have a goon with a thin drip tip, I suppose, or a goon um, kind of aftermarket tip with a, with a thin hole, a thin bore, if you like. Um, 
that certainly could be a thing but no I would like to have seen an adapter on this one to bring this down to a 510 size so you could put your normal drip tips in there I think that would just give a little bit more variation and also once you do close this air down a little bit whilst it's never going to be super tight it's never going to be mouth to lung it could help it sort of just kind of concentrate that flavor onto your tongue a little bit more in my opinion but having said that I think it's a, it's a pretty reasonable little performer I think it's pretty darn good now then this does come through on your Gearbest and your Fastex and your China sites at 20 between 20 and 25 dollars have I said that already I can't remember I might have done that at the start I don't know I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but that means to me it's cheap as you like. Now, obviously, that's going to mean that unless you can find a vape shop with them in stock, then you are going to potentially have to wait a while for delivery. But for around the 20 bucks mark, I think that's entirely reasonable. I like the fact that you do have this cap, or you can take that off and, uh, and pop on the Ultim, or the PEI, as they're calling it. Um, obviously you have to use the same drip tip now this will help reduce some of the heat because when you're using higher wattage with a thick chunky coil going on there in the middle then the stainless steel cap will get somewhat hot and so you do have to be aware of that because you've got quite a thin drip tip it could get onto your lippy poos a little bit but uh, having said that I think that looks quite classy I mean there's a lot of people doing this now obviously we've had the Hadley with the uh, the Ultim cap on it we've had um, what else we had we had that one by bomber tech that was really funky um obviously now we've got the wasp nano and all that sort of good stuff so um there's there's a bunch of these kind of rdas coming out now which is good if they're done well or they're very affordable or a mixture of the two hopefully now this i think is done pretty well um it's a shame that you can't close that airflow all the way down and have a 510 adapter on there to make it a real kind of more of a more of a mouth to lungy style vape however um, um, if you're not too fussed about that and you just want a cheap one that you can that looks quite funky I love the fact that this stainless cap doesn't have a load of engravings and stuff and shit all around it I like that a lot um, I like the fact that you can have this PEI cap on here as well which does make it look a little bit funkier if that stabilized piss is part of your kind of a fancy list and that is of course now then let's have another little vape because I'm talking too quickly As you see, it does have a fair amount of cloud going in there. That's with the airflow fully open. I'm just going to close that airflow halfway there just so we can uh, have a little test on there just for completeness because this is supposed to be a review. <laughs> Lovely. Not bad at all. Now then, I have had a gorge for a couple of months now, I think, but... Um, the reason I've not reviewed it th until now is because I think they had an issue with the 510. I think the tolerance wasn't that clever. So the grub screw that goes up into the 510 um, was allowing some juice to pass through it. So it meant that if you did over drip when this was, you had this on a normal dripper, then uh, it wasn't ideal. Also, um, what I should have shown you in the up close, but didn't because, uh, you know, I'm one of those kind of reviewers. Um, there is, if this is going to focus, the 510 is long enough for hybrid devices on this one and as I always say whilst my one is super duper for the 510 uh, always check your own don't just go off what I say use your eyes that's always good um, or get someone to tell you whether it's a, a proper length for a, a hybrid device um, I think with this cap on it it looks pretty cool on brass devices and it and black devices it looks really sweet on um, I, I, I'll just take up more of your time if I show you. You can guess. It, it looks all right. Trust me. Um, but uh, no, all in all, I think it looks pretty cool. For the money, I think it's a little corker. Yes, it's not perfect. Um, the flavor on it is pretty reasonable. The airflow is pretty reasonable. Everything is pretty reasonable. But for that price, I think that's a, that's a, a no-brainer in my opinion. That's about all I can say on it, really. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Dean the Vaping Biker. This has been the Gorge RDA. I'm going to pop my little subscribe description thing down there I'll put the last couple of videos there and there all the links will be down below but thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon have it larger